So the black soldier fly is a, is a vector free fly. Vector free in the sense that it does not cause disease. It's not dangerous to humans in any way. Similar as said to the house flies, like we know them transmitting diseases and everything. So where we started there, this unit is divided into three main units. The first one is the insectarium. That insectarium is the breeding, the breeding area. There we have cages. Okay, some people just have a room where they let the flies out free and put an attractant, a smelly, a smelly substrate, substrate where some wooden, wooden sticks or, or cardboard boxes are put to trap the flies. So when the flies smell that very strong scent, they will go and lay, they, they prefer laying eggs, their eggs near to where that scent is because then they feel when those eggs hatch, the, the hatchlings will find food there. So that is the technology we use to trap them to lay eggs. After they have laid the eggs in the, in the cages that we have provided for them, like we saw the other side, we then pick the eggs. We usually pick eggs between two to three times a week. After picking the eggs, we provide feed. It's very good for the feed for them. It's very good if you use maybe the fermented, uh, ferme maybe brewery waste, or maybe if you ferment maize bran or rice bran. Then you put it in. After two to, two to three days, the eggs will have hatched. After hatching the eggs, we then prepare feed. This feed can be organic, any organic waste. And between 10, between 10 to 14 days, our, our black soldier flies will be ready for harvest. It has been one year down the road. Since I got, I appreciated this concept, I went for the training in Makere University, Cabanyoro, Agricultural Research Institute in Cabanyoro. Then I came and did a pilot first on my own. I wanted to understand the concept better. After understanding the concept, I now decided to come and scale it up here at the farm because I realized it is something that works. Now the market, the market for these, for the black soldier flies is insatiable as we talk about it now. The demand for it is very high because livestock farmers, we know that almost every household has chicken Almost every household has pigs, okay, not almost because of faith-based reasons, but at least chicken, and many farmers are also adopting fish farming. But the greatest challenge most farmers have got, like myself, is feed. This unit here itself was a piggery unit. I had pigs here, but after some time, it was, it was becoming very hard for me to maintain the pigs because of the high feed prices. So while I was trying to find out how to sort that feed crisis. That's when I came across, someone told me about the black soldier fly and when I researched about it, I appreciated the fact that for you to produce it, you use organic waste that is readily available almost everywhere. Every home generates this organic waste and with, I felt this is something I could first develop. Then after we have had the feed, we will bring back the enterprises, the poultry, the pigs and the fish. A kilo goes for between 1,500 to 2,500 fresh. Then when you're drying it, it goes for between 3,500 to 4,500. Some, some people even sell at 5,000, the dried one. So the demand for the fresh, for the black soldier fly larvae is really high. So we know organic waste generally is a concern with municipal councils all over the world. Waste and the waste management is, is generally a key issue. And when we look at the United Nations Environmental Program, UNEP, they came up with a strategy that they were recommending on waste management. And one of, they, there's a hierarchy that they, they kind of recommend. And the first up on the hierarchy is the waste minimization. The next is reuse. They actually encourage reusing the waste. Then there is recycling, and then there is the waste to energy. Then the last one is the, the land filling. So we realize that most urban, uh, most urban centers, urban cities, they're actually going for land filling. And yet land filling is the, is the worst actually because when organic waste decomposes, it produces two gases. It produces carbon dioxide and ammonia. Now when this ammonia accumulates in the air, it actually causes that global warming and then the climate change. So now with, our, with this black soldier fly farming, 
we reuse, we actually adopt reuse as a waste, a, a waste management strategy. So rather than let, let the municipal council take this organic waste to the landfill, which then would produce carbon dioxide and ammonia that contribute to that uh, global warming, the, the, the warming and then uh, the climate change, that organic waste is rather, we are getting into an arrangement with them to have it to us. We sort it, we crush it, and then use it as feed for the black soldier fly larvae. So that way we'll be averting or minimizing the effects of climate change. Actually, along the value chain, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, of jobs that there, 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 there are many opportunities for the young people. So one of the plans that we, we have with the municipal council is once this is collected, we want to have a site where sorting can be done. Now, we have actually even here in Kasozi, the main source of livelihood for the, even the youth, even the, the mature people is the, in the land mining, means sand mining. Many of them are down there even now. So we're looking at uh, this farm contributing to that, that unemployment among the youth. One, through sorting that waste. Two, when it comes also to crushing it, we'll need that energy. When it comes then to feeding it, actually all, all our staff fall into that category of the, the three that we have. But occasionally, we, we, we get youth, when we have other programs at the farm running, we get the youth coming on board. So that will be the best way they would come into, you know, be able to position themselves along the value chain, right from sorting, feeding, harvesting, packaging, and the, also the fertilizer that is got. There is also there's another plan to have the farm, have uh, that uh, the green, okay, we have just a sample of the vegetables here, but we also intend to have that, to be able to reuse this fertilizer. So show the youth that they can also be able to, to make money, even right from the fertilizer and have their vegetables throughout the year.